Hi, good day everyone. Today I'm going to share, share with you about topic 1 basic algebra. Okay, basically there are three subtopic in the basic algebra. The first one is simplified basic algebra, which consists of defined algebra expression by using addition subtraction, multiplication, and division. And the next subtopic is soft quadratic equations. We have soft quadratic equation by using factorization, quadratic formula, and completing the squares. And the last subtopic is show procedures to find the partial fraction. Okay, number one is define proper and improper fractions. Next one is define partial fraction. Construct partial fraction using proper fraction with linear factors, repeated linear factors, quadratic factors. And the last one is convert improper fraction to proper fraction and construct the partial Okay, before we start the topic, I would like to ask you all what is algebra? Any idea about that? Hmm. Oh my god, what's that? It is so familiar, right? Hmm. But I can't record. Okay, try to think about that. Yes, I got it. Okay, algebra is the study of mathematical symbols plus, minus, multiplication, division and the rules for manipulating these symbols. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, look at these terms. 5x squared plus 3xy minus 9. What is 5? What is x squared? What is 3xy? And what is negative 9? Okay. 5 and 3 are coefficients. Okay, this 5 and these three are coefficients. Nine is not. Okay, then what is coefficient? Coefficient is a number used to multiply a variable. What is variable? Mm, okay. Let's look at it. X and Y are variables. This one, X, X and Y, they are variables. Okay. What is variables? Okay, variable is a symbol, letter, which represents one or more numbers okay so we have two variable here x and y okay what is the two here the two here is an exponent or we call it power Okay, what is exponent or power? It is how many times the number is to be used in a multiplication. Okay, students, any idea about this one? Nine? Why this? 
coefficient, variables, or exponent power. No, it's not. It is a constant. Okay, we call it constant. So I repeat. Okay, I repeat. Five and three are coefficients. Okay. Then the x, x, and the y here are variables. Okay. The two here are exponent, or we call it power. Okay, and the last one nine. Okay, we call it constant. Okay, next. Let's look at this 1.1 simplified basic algebra. Okay, basic properties of algebra are to rewrite an algebra expression in a simplest form. Okay, you have to remove the symbols of grouping or the brackets and combine the like terms. Okay, combine the like terms. Then, two or more terms of an algebraic expression can be combined only if there are like terms. Okay, don't worry, we will have some example about like terms. Okay, next. Okay, this is example for like terms and unlike terms. Okay, look at the first one. 3x and negative 10x. There are two terms here. Are these like terms or unlike terms? Okay, let's check it out. They have same variable x and x and the power of x is 1 here the power of second term is also 1 so it is a like term <coughs> you have to remember in order to know whether it is like term or unlike term you have to check whether the variable is same or not if they are same then you have to check the power of the variable Okay, let's look at example number 2. Okay, 3x and negative 10y. The first term have variable x. The second term have variable y. Their variable are different. So, they are unlike terms. Okay, then the third one. 3p and negative 10p cubed. The first term have only one variable p, while the second one have two variable p and q, so their variable are different. Therefore, they are unlike term. Okay, look at the next one. The first term have x and y variable. The second one have y and x variable. Their variable are same, x and y. Okay, but this is not enough uh, to say that it is like them. We have to check the power of the variable. Okay, the first one, the variable of x is square, 2. The variable for second is 2. How about y? The power of y is 1 and the power of y here is 1. 
So we can conclude it as like them. Okay, the last one. Let's check it out. Okay, look at the first term. They have variable s. The second term have variable s too. Okay, but remember you have to compare the power of the variable. The first term have power 2. But the second term have power 1. So, it is unlike them.